Good morning, beautiful people. It is Chef BC, and today I am going to show my beautiful kings and queens how to make fried grits. Of course, we're going to start off with a traditional recipe. So, of course, you need your good old pot and whisk to do your thing in. And then we have about a cup of grits. We have four cups of water. Depending on the consistency, you can do four and a fourth or just four or a little less, depending on what you're doing. Since we are going to transform the pot of grits into fried grits, we really um, don't have to have a, con a poor consistency, but we're gonna do pretty close to it. And then this is a special granulated broth seasoning I like to use. And then of course you could use heavy cream or cream cheese and I gotta have that butter. So I have a couple of tablespoons of butter here and uh, about two tablespoons of cream cheese and that makes the consistency um, really nice and creamy. And like I said, you can do milk, you can do heavy cream, half and half, or cream cheese. I do a slightly different recipe for my clients. As most of you know, I am a certified chef uh, and um, we cater. I have a company, Bliss Venue Styling and Catering. Of course, the acronyms VSC is behind my name, as you can see on my channel, but it's Bliss VSC. So let's get this party started and get over to this stove and get these grits pumping. Okay, so guys, we have the water in the saucepan. And again, we put four cups in the saucepan. And as for mentioned, you can do four and a fourth, or it just depends on the consistency that you want the grits to be. So I have the water in here. And with the water, normally with the traditional recipe, you add salt. Since I'm not using salt and I decided to use the granulated broth seasoning, I'm going to add that. And whisk that in. Make sure you get that whisk in where it's looking definitely like a broth. Okay, guys? And as soon as this comes through a rolling boil, then we're going to incorporate our grits into the water. So, normally with the flame on high, because I have it up as high as I can get it, I, um, well, actually I have it on medium high. It only takes about a couple of minutes for it to come to a rolling boil. And as soon as it comes to a rolling boil, we are going to whisk in our grits, okay? Okay, guys, as you can see, we got the water dancing over here. So at this point, I like to add my butter. Let that butter get melted into that water. Whisk that in real well. Let that butter get melted in there. Good. So now you want to start adding your grits and you want to whisk while you add to prevent lumps. So you start making that swirl, add in the grits, whisk, whisk, whisk while you're adding your grits. Whisk, whisk, whisk while you're adding your grits. No lumps. Just like on that movie called The Help, where um, Octavia Spencer said, Minnie don't burn no chicken. Well, Chef BC don't have no lumps in her grits. That's blasphemy. All right. So once you get all the grits 
in there. And you have thoroughly whisked everything. This is where you want to take your heat down to low. And let them cook three to five minutes. And this is also, after I get the grits incorporated in, this is where I add my cream cheese or my heavy cream or whichever I decide to do that day. Okay? Well, it's always up to you what you like, what your family likes, and what your family will eat. So, after we get these grits thicken, let them thicken and cook. Let all the cream cheese get melted into it. We're going to Pour them out and let them cool down because in order to make the fried grits, which is the end goal, right? We have to refrigerate or put these in the freezer so that we can cut them out in whatever shape that we desire and fry them. and stirring and attending to your grits is very important. As you pick up your whisk, it'll let you know if you have any lumps or if your cream cheese or whatever extra you've added in, if it is not melted, it will come up in the wires of the whisk. Okay. As my daughter, the Fufa wife, say, okay, pumpkin. <laughs> so these grits are looking absolutely wonderful. And guys, while you're watching my fried grits tutorial, after this video, go over to my daughter's channel. She has a channel called The Fruitful Wife here on YouTube. And she also has a channel called Weight Loss to Burn Boss, where she's been doing intermittent fasting. And I think she's lost about 60 pounds and she's chronicling, uh, doing a chronicle of her journey with that. So I appreciate it if you guys can go over and follow and subscribe my baby. And if you like what you see on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, like, share, and I appreciate it. Oh, these are looking, look at it. That's the money right there. Yeah, that's the money right there. That's the money. So we're going to let those continue just a little bit more. Since I'm uh, making fried grits, I'm going to let them get a little thicker. And then I'm going to transfer them and allow them to uh, set. And then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. Let them cool down probably for 30 minutes to an hour maybe, and then I'll be able to cut them out, and then we're going to commence to frying. So. Okay, guys, this is the consistency that you want for your fried grits. I know a lot of people actually like theirs, think like this, but if you're catering and you have prepared your grits on site and there's going to be 20 minutes or so before you actually serve then at that point you need to have a little thinner consistency for the fried grits this is cool if somebody's going to eat them right now it's cool 
but if you're actually catering, you can't have them this thick because they'll be gelled and looking crazy uh, when it's time to serve the guests. So, just wanted to let you know this is what you're looking for right here. Okay, guys, let's get ready to transfer them for the, um, for the um, pan so that we can cool them down and cut them out and get ready for the last uh, portion, which is going to be actually frying the grits. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Uh, one of my mentors actually posted it on her IG page last week and I was like, oh my God, I have not had fried grits in so long. And my mom, Gigi, she loves fried grits. So I'm inspired. Chef, shout out to Chef Lindsay um, out in Houston, Texas, Silver Spoon Catering. Okay guys, let's get ready to transfer these beautiful grits into a pan, get them cooled down so that we can finish the last stage. Okay guys, for the cooling down of the grits, what I like to do is actually line my pan, skillet, whatever you choose to use, I like to line that with parchment paper. Um, you can use whatever you choose to to line yours, but I like to use the parchment paper. So I normally just line the skillet with that. And I get the grits and pour the grits onto the liner. Right? And then you just want to smooth them out a little bit. And do a nice even round circle. So when you cut out your shapes, your grits won't all be different heights. So you want to do a consistent Ooh, they so hot. You want to do a, a consistent level and make sure that they are smoothed out. Okay? So now we're going to get these into the refrigerator. I might drop them in the freezer so we got so we can um, finish this tutorial pretty quick. But um, you want to make a nice even surface so when you get ready to cut them out, you'll have consistent circles. So I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to get this in the freezer and then we're going to do the last part. All right, guys, we are ready to do the fun part. As you can see, I have the grits cut out. Um, I used the glass because I could not find a cookie cutter. Of course, Brittany, uh, the fruitful wife, is a patisserie chef. So when it comes to baking, I don't have a lot of baking tools. All of that is at her house and at our uh, kitchen. However, uh, I use the top of a glass to cut my grits out. So now comes the fun part. So I'm gonna have a wet hand and I'm gonna have a dry hand. The eight of fingers. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do I'm going to start off in my egg wash, go to the flour, and go back in the egg wash, then to the panko crumbs. So I'm using Italian panko crumbs, so I didn't have to season them. They're already seasoned, but if you choose to, you can actually add uh, some pink Himalayan sea salt, black pepper. Um, you can add Caesar salt, Cajun salt, whatever you like. Mrs. Dash, if you're on the low sodium diet, or you don't have to season them at all. You can season the flour on your plate or your breadcrumbs. Okay, so let's get this party started. You want to make sure that it's emerged, emerged really well. Then you want to take it over after you get the excess off. Take it over to your flour. Then you want to get your dry hand. Make sure you cover it up very well. Flip that puppy over. Make sure you get the sides. Knock that off. Come back to your egg wash. Take your wet hand. Flip that over. 
kid that I all incorporated on there. And now you want to come over to your panko combs. Get that excess off of there. Bring it over to your panko bread combs and make sure that you cover it well. And this is just going to make it beautiful, give it some depth. And it's going to fry really well, guys. That's number one, and we're going to do another one, big first, with the wet hand, get that excess off, take it over to the flour, get your dry hand, flip that puppy over, take it back with your wet hand, back into the egg wash. Get that excess off and see it's holding pretty well because we put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours i wanted to make sure it gets stiff but for the best results this needs to be in the refrigerator overnight guys dry hand cover it up with the seasoned panko breadcrumbs and at this point you want to get your oil in your skillet make sure your skillet is on the medium heat and get ready to drop these puppies in the skillet. Okay? Let's get the skillet heated up so we can continue the party and come to the grand finale. Thanks for staying with me, guys. All right, guys, it's time to wrap this thing up. So we have our grease in place. We are ready to fry these babies so we can have our fried grits. We got them coated all nicely, ready to hit that grease. And our grease should be hot enough now. You don't want to have it too high because you want to be able to manage it. That's perfect. medium is a good place to be with these. If you're scared of the grease popping, you might want to stand back a little bit. I have plenty of battle scars <laughs> to show, but uh, if you are afraid of hot grease, then you want to make sure that either you put a grease screen over your uh, grit patties while they're cooking, anything that you're frying if you're afraid of grease. And another cool tip is when you're frying something and it's time to turn it over, if you're afraid of the grease, turn it away from you. And that way the grease won't splatter on you. Okay? Those babies are doing pretty good. Fry, baby, fry. And they really should be about three-fourths thick. I got them a little thick, but um, we're going to tear these puppies up anyway. I think the end result is going to be absolutely wonderful. And you want to make sure that they are golden brown. Flip them over. They only need about a minute on each side to become perfect. Look at here. What you know about them fried grits? I am going to fix these with um, some maple link sausage on the side. And Gigi likes her egg sunny side up, over easy, um, sometimes soft scramble, but her favorite is fried egg. But today I'm going to do her either over easy or sunny side up. Have you ever 
seeing something so wonderful. Who doesn't like southern fried grits? And you know, you can make the recipe your own. You can change it up. You can do whatever you like, whatever makes you happy, okay? You don't want to overcook them. Like I said, they need about a minute on each side. And those are perfect, honey. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. Beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Get that heat turned off. And there you have fried grits, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to get Gigi's plate together, and then I will show you the end result. Okay? I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. I will post the recipe on the um, in the about section on the front. Of All right, guys. We have our finished product, our fried grits. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Getting ready to fix my mom. This, take this in here so she can enjoy her breakfast. And please take time to leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys stopping by to enjoy my cooking. And you kings and queens have a wonderful, wonderful day.